You ain't going? It's just right here. I always like to be facing out. In case you gotta get out of here quick. But that, after that night we had a camp out, I brought Ernie and Jamie up here. And I was right in here taking a picture of this. See how this tree's laid down? It's laid down more now. And it's brought around. Mm -hmm. But uh, I got actually got a picture of one back there. Yeah, walk down here and I'll show you. We found a footprint, I think right in here. There's a big track in that moss. It could have been done whenever they logged, but look how that sitting up on that stump. And I found that a few different places and I, I don't know why a logger would do that. He could have done it. I haven't stepped on that rock and slipped the moss off of it before. Yeah, that deer from last night, it wouldn't run down in here. This is this is a boogery spot right here. I think that's why that deer wouldn't run down in here. It wanted to take his chances with us rather than come down in here. But you gotta kinda look for subtle stuff, like that twig there, it's kinda broke and snapped over. That been rooting around in here. That could be pigs or bear or anything doing that. But you know, all them blackberries up there? This, I've messed with them a little bit, but that's a bunch of blackberry bushes that was like in a bundle. There's no roots to it at all. Blackberries don't grow down in here, especially in large amounts. I think they had a bundle of blackberries and came down here to eat it. Brought the vines and all down here. Now this right here is what I was talking about. What are the chances of this being natural? Look at that. Did you hear something? Mm -hmm. I probably just old bugger. But look how this is. That's the root of it right here, right? And it could have fell over. And these two pieces, it's, it's rotted down more now used to go between this and this but where they're on the ground they brought it down faster and that little twig right there if you move that this piece right here falls what's the chances of all that happen naturally i mean it's just placed up and they're perfect but look i mean that's wedged in there it's about to fall anyway it's so rotten i found that couple years ago I'll find a big track to show y'all walk down there there might be some track, tracks down there they hang out down there there's some other things up up in here too but they get it seems like they get spots they travel I think they travel and they don't stay nowhere no longer in four or five days like in one area and in the winter time they travel more just because of food but in the spring and summer when everything's green there's all kinds of stuff to eat they can just hang out in one place a lot of times you'll find these logs with sticks across them i've seen them where there's sticks just like a stick 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 all across them kind of like that one but more One day I walked all the way down here and something was hooping and hollering up on the ridge line. It was a fall too, but I still couldn't see it. I 
soundtracks up over there before too. That be old tree. Beach. Beach. It's rare to see this high up, but that's a big old beach tree. If there's a nut phone or what? And I see more mushrooms this year than ever. Look at all these little guys. That's probably a squirrel's house in here. Check it out. It's all hollow inside. That's a big tree, ain't it? There's some mushrooms. Yeah. You wanna cook them up? Look at all these limbs just hanging over there. I mean, a lot of this stuff is natural, I know. But, I mean, you can come back in a week from now, and if they've been in here, you can see all kinds of new stuff. <clears throat> I mean, I don't see how some of it happens whenever there's no storms or anything. I'd love to find a track to show y'all. I think I got like a clan of them around here. It's about seven, eight, nine members because I found tracks, five different size tracks all in one spot, like one little spot. Three of them was like six inches and under and two of them was, I think, 15, 16 inches. And that don't, and that don't include the big guy. I found one track here that was 17 and a half inches. I'm still not sure if that was the big one or not. And they might be over at Uncle Bob's. Like I said, they move around. And I've got a lot of their trail figured out, but it would take us three days to walk it all. But I know where they cross roads and stuff at. But tomorrow we can go over to Uncle Bob's property. I'll show you all that over there. And uh, it's a muddy road going out through there. Might find some tracks on it. But usually if they're around, at least they do me, I don't know if there's, there's more people, they'll let you, you know, they'll make a vocal or throw a rock or something. Especially if you get too close to the youngins. And they like to throw a lot of rocks. That's pretty wild though, ain't it? I mean, how would that happen naturally? Honestly, heck, can you explain that? I mean, it's had some help, I think. It's either a man or a booger's done it. I don't know why somebody would do that. <coughs> and that's an old one, like I said. We found that a couple of years ago. Now, I know they're still down this holler. This holler comes out, the ridge line we just set up camp. This holler is down below it. And there's no way, I mean, it would take take a month to clear the trails out for somebody to get a four-wheeler or something back in there.
I'd love to find a track. Sure you got this. I stacked those rocks up, they never fold the theme, changed them. <laughs> 